While at the In the Fed rally outside the Federal Reserve Bank in Dallas, Texas, we spoke with Ron Paul's brother, Wayne Paul. 1913, the Federal Reserve Act was passed, floor of the House where three members of Congress were on the floor. At that time, they only needed a majority of votes to pass it. So in 1913, the Federal Reserve Act was passed. Twenty years later, 1933, under Roosevelt, the United States was declared bankrupt. And in 1933, the Federal Reserve Private Bank says, Okay, USA, what are you going to pledge as collateral on the debt you owe me? What happened by 1936? Does anybody know? We instituted Social Security system, and you and I and our children and our children's children were pledged as collateral on the debt of our government to the Federal Reserve. And that's where we're at today. It took 20 years to make this country bankrupt, and since then, our government has operated under emergency powers of our government. It is not the president that makes the decision in this country. It's the Secretary of Treasury who turns around and is put in there by the Federal Reserve to manage the bankruptcy. We've been in bankruptcy ever since. So to print $700 billion and to give it away, how do they get away with it? The manager of the bankruptcy is told by the Federal Reserve this is the way to go. That's where we're at today. Yes, we should point out, Congressman Ron Paul now has a huge amount of sponsors for a bill in the House of Representatives to abolish the private Federal Reserve crime syndicate.